Hey guys, so sorry if it's really bright, the sun is like right there. Um, I've had these hard candy eye tattoos since Christmas time and I totally forgot that I had them um, until Lacey asked me the other day if I had ever done a tutorial with them. So I figured I would do that now. I've never tried them, never touched them, so if this comes out crappy, that is why. I just primed my eyelids with the Kat Von D primer. It doesn't say to prime them, but I'm assuming that, you know, it's like eyeshadow. You should do it anyway. So it comes with three. It comes with this zebra one, a uh, pink leopard print, and then this RNG. I guess they're both leopard or cheetah or whatever. Um, so I was going to do this one because that seems to be the most complicated looking one. I guess the um, the zebra part is supposed to go on the top and then this is like you blend it out once it's on your lid. So I guess you're just supposed to stick it on. Let's see how well this works. So I'm just gonna stick it on my lid. Which, first of all, it doesn't even look like it's going to fit my eye, right? Oh my god, I would so much rather do my makeup like this than have to stick this on my eye. <laughs> so I'm just going to rub over it. I guess it actually works pretty good. But it's kind of like... Uh, not where I want it, and I don't know if they, um... If you're supposed to leave it polka dotted like that, or blend it out. Um, let me grab a brush. see what happens when I go in to blend it. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that because it just turns it into a gray color. Yeah, that didn't... It would probably have been better off leaving it the way it was, but it feels really sticky actually on my eye. quite sticky. Um, but it comes with this setting powder that you're supposed to, and a little brush that you're supposed to dust over it. I guess that helps set it and gets, hopefully gets rid of the stickiness because it's like my lid is sticking to the top of my eye. So I'll just use the brush that comes with it and pat the setting powder over it. I don't think I'm going to do both eyes because I'm definitely not going to leave this on. <laughs> so you can't really put the setting powder on it without smudging it, which sucks. That does get rid of the stickiness, but I don't know if I'm sold on these things completely because it kind of just smears everywhere and I would like it to be like higher, but I don't know. It's just weird for my eye shape. It looks kind of odd, but yeah, I'm not going to bother with the other eye. I just wanted to play with it and see what they came out like. Sun. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty easy to use, but not something I would use constantly <laughs> and probably won't try it again. I don't know. I'll try the other ones, I guess. They can be reused because, it, I mean, it still has a ton of product on there. I guess the harder you press, the more intense it is. I pressed pretty hard so that it would come out dark. But yeah, I just wanted to play around with that 
in case anybody was interested in them. I don't know how much they were because I got them for Christmas. Uh, probably like in the range of $6.99, $5.99, something like that. Since that's what most of the um, uh, hard candy stuff is. But yeah, I just wanted to do that, make a quick video, and I'll talk to you guys later.